They say a person can endlessly watch at three scenes how fire burn on that picture on the wall and on the great worm that covers almost the whole sky. Hello friends and today I want to tell you about a game called Crypt Lord and it's a very unusual open world dungeon crawler with a very interesting idea and frankly speaking this game managed to surprise me in a good way and I bet it will surprise you my dungeon crawler lovers so sit back and listen. This is an indie game, so don't expect much, but still this game was inspired by Elder Scrolls series, so there will be a lot of similar things, while other things and the gameplay itself will be completely different. The story, game world and lore will be so fresh, so new. I play a lot of games before and still I was surprised. I don't want to make a lot of spoilers, but in a time when darkness came, a crypt lord appears and at the same time a great wind descend into the earth. And in this world a lot of weird stuff happened. When Elder dies with the help of powerful ritual, he somehow connects to ancestors and that means you can talk with the dead, at least with some of them and more of that they can give you very valuable information and even quests. And this is only a small example of all weird things you can have in a crypt lord. And you will play the hero who destined to stop the evil, to save the land from the crypt lord. But as usual, you will start in a hospital after you barely survived without nothing at all. And in best traditions of Elder Scrolls, you can choose your appearance and enter your name and that's all you can choose. This is how the world map will look like, yes yeah, that's me and I can move. You see I just completed the Fort Keller, a level 1 dungeon. And what you need to know, all locations will be available right from the beginning. You can go and visit even the boss fight, yeah with level 1 hero probably you will not succeed, but you can do it. But there will be places like this temple, where you have to make a sacrifice to ancestors and gain powers, some kind of level up. Also there will be random encounters and unknown locations, you will have to figure it out, what is this? It's a truly open world game. And about those encounters, I get ambushed and I see enemy in front of me. I start shooting, but guess what, there was a second enemy who attacked me from behind. And the result, yeah, I'm dead, my adventure is over. And that means your enemies will be really wise and it will be hard to survive. And I like it, completely love it. <laughs> <laughs> but most of the time you will spend in dungeons, different kind of dungeons, from the abandoned mine and mysterious caves to forts and temples. And dungeon exploration is done on the highest level, you have everything that you need, plenty of weapons to use, a plenty of different kind of consumables, terrible terrifying monsters and of course puzzles. You can even cook here and from my experience fighting each single monster is a real challenge. Usually I have to eat a lot of bread, bananas and all that stuff to restore my health point. And a few words about a combat, it will be really simple and classical at the same way. You will have ability to block attacks and make a hit strike. What also worth mentioning is ancient runes and you will find plenty of those runes and they will give you a power to unleash a variety of different effects such as doing blood damage at night, allowing you to teleport or ability to make enemies explode upon a death. And you can insert these runes in all kind of weapons, even in rings. You also will have a plenty of quests, 
but sadly I don't find any attributes except health, stamina and prayer. Crypt Lord is not released so far, only demo version available. But you know this game managed to ignite my interest. Friends, and I have a question for you. What do you think about open world dungeon crawler? I found it very interesting. With that said, thank you all for watching and I will see you in my next video.